Welcome back to the Star Wars Show live from Star Wars Celebration 2016 on StarWars.com. And I am now very excited to be joined, joined by Jordan White and Phil Noto from Marvel. Guys, welcome to Star Wars Celebration. It's such an exciting time for Marvel Comics. We have all these new characters to work with. What are the challenges and the opportunities that you have working with a character like Poe Dameron? Oh, thank, um, well, thanks for having us, first yes. of all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the hardest thing is just drawing a good Oscar Isaac. It's very <laughs> tricky, but um, yeah, I mean, it's great. I'm in Star Wars heaven. I, you know, I get paid to draw Star Wars comic books. I mean, the best thing about working on the Poe book is that when you saw that movie, he was clearly a character that everybody loved so much and they wanted more of him immediately. There wasn't enough of him in that movie. So immediately everybody was like, where's more Poe? And we went, well, here we go. We can do lots more Poe. And he's coming into the movie on yep. the tail of another story yes. that has to do with Lor Santeca. And that's where your comic, that's what your comic is working with. Yes, uh, yes. I think at this point we have four issues out. We've seen, uh, he, he was going to a different planets, looking for where Lor Santeca is. And the most recent one, he's, Go, he goes into a prison to talk to an inmate who has information, uh, but it's not going very well so far. <laughs> yes, right now he's trying to track down Luke Skywalker, who may know the location of Lor Santeca. Right, vice versa. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Lor yes. Santeca, who yes. might know yes. <laughs> Long day. It's a and, big uh, universe. It's easy to get lost. <laughs> yes. But, and we have the rest of Black Squadron, uh, Jess Pava, Snap Wexley, um, Luolo, who actually flew with... Poe's mom in the Shadowed yeah. Empire series. Phil, are there any designs that you've really enjoyed working with as an artist? Um, yeah, I mean, I got to design the new First Order villain we have for the series, uh, Agent Terex, and that was a lot of fun. And um, just, yeah, random spaceships and new First Order troopers, and yeah, it's been great. Yeah, Agent Terex is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, he's he's, he's a, a very dashing villain. Which is kind of a fun thing to have. Uh -huh. Also, he uh, uh, he's he's flying around in what used to be Tarkin's ship, the Carrion Spike, which yes. was a lot of fun. Is that a, is that a fun yeah, ship to yes, draw? Yeah. Yes. That's so great that you get to add your own villain to the Star Wars yeah. universe. Oh yeah. How exciting is that? Oh, it's incredibly exciting. Yeah. I mean, it was I the things that they let us do in the comics and actually create for the Star Wars universe has been amazing. So you also have um, you also have a very well established character that you've been working with, Chewbacca. How is that different from working with someone new like Poe? Um, Chewbacca, I mean, so much of that, you know, he's such an established character. So that I mean, Wookies are a little tricky to draw, you know, <laughs> to have him not look like a Harry Homer Simpson. But um, outside of that, like it was just Chewbacca, and his story was he crash landed on a planet and helped this uh, teenage girl rescue her people from uh, the slavery of this evil alien. Yeah, we, so when we announced we were doing a Chewbacca series, and at this point it's out in collected editions, so you can get the whole series at once. But when we announced it, um, everybody was immediately asking, are you going to translate what he says? And we said, nope, definitely <laughs> nope. not. And we didn't. We did nope. five issues. You have to assume what he says. Yeah, if you're going to keep it consistent with the film. Yep. Yeah. No subtitles. Nope. Yeah. yeah. In the script, it kind of... You know, he's the writer Jerry Duggan subtitled it for me, so I'd know how to like what expression to draw on him. You which, know, which is the same thing that uh, Charles Soule does in Poe Dameron yeah, with when BB-8 BB talks. Charles <laughs> just writes what BB-8 says, and he 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 does a sassy BB-8. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just like, hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's so, uh, what do we have to look forward to with Mar with Star Wars and Marvel Comics in the near future? Uh, well, we're gonna, we've got a lot more fun stories yeah. planned for Poe. Um, I'm busy every month drawing Poe Dameron. <laughs> um, we've got the Poe book uh, is an ongoing series. We have the main book, Star Wars, ongoing series by Jason Aaron, currently being drawn by Jorge Molina, uh, a new arc about to start, actually. Um, we have the Darth Vader series that's just wrapping up, a giant size issue 25 that's going to wrap up the entire series that we've been doing. It's absolutely epic and awesome. Wow. And then we've got uh, the Han Solo miniseries going on right now, and then future miniseries to be announced. And what's the response been from the fans? You're here at Celebration, getting to, getting to meet all the people who love your comics. How's that going? It's going great. People really do love all the stories that we can do. And the fact is that we can put out these comics monthly, and it gives you a, like an awesome Star Wars adventure every month. 
people seem to really love it. It keeps you getting that Star Wars kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. I mean, I've been drawing Star Wars since I was six years old, so. Now you just get I, paid I've for I've come it. full circle, yes. <laughs> it's, it, you're literally living the dream. Yes. You start out doodling stormtroopers, and here you are. Truly, yes. Working in comics. Yes. That's so fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thanks pleasure. for having Really us. appreciate it. And awesome. we will be back in just a minute with more from Star Wars Celebration Europe here on the Star Wars Show Live on StarWars.com.